Father Ted, in July of 1964, went into Chicago when he learned that people who might well be expected to be present and supportive of Dr. Martin Luther King weren't going to be at the event. And he said that it was important for somebody to be there. In fact, as I recall his telling the story, he sat on the front row and Dr. King sent one of his aides down and asked Father Ted to come up onto the platform with the rest of the dignitaries who were present. And that's where the uh, photograph that we know so well, the photograph that's enshrined in the Smithsonian Institute's uh, art museum as a national treasure, uh, that's where that photograph came from. Uh, surely, uh, Father Ted could have been happy uh, doing other things. That wasn't the only thing going on in our country at that time, but he thought it was one of the most important things for him to be involved in. To the big time, shooting dice and playing. So the mosaic is actually eight by eight, the total project. It is consisting of four panels, four by four, and as we created them, students, faculty, staff were able to contribute and uh, paint a, a two by two inch square and secure it onto the panel. Their picture is actually bordered by two quotes, one from each of the men, and from our perspective, complement what we are trying to say in regard to people being activists. And it's one thing when we are excited about helping internationally, but there are so many things domestically that we need to address. And so, as the Bible says, charity starts at home. So in essence, let's make a difference here and make sure that everyone feels welcome, regardless of their race, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, and doing this community project says we are all one. Every student had a part in creating this mosaic. Just reminds us of our commitment to honor Father Ted's legacy and reminds us students that we need to live that out every day in our actions. Art is so important in promoting social justice because it's a tangible reminder that we made a commitment to honor the values of Father Ted and of Dr. King. The coordinator for the program contacted Ella, uh, Father Hesburgh's elementary school, told them what we were doing, and asked them if they could send some sand from the school. So they sent about a half a sandwich bag full of sand from where Father Hesburgh began his elementary education, incorporated it into the paint that we used to make the mosaic. So now we have where his education began, and we have where he served as president for over 30 years kind of merged together in this project that will be displayed within the community. These pieces of this mosaic were the building blocks that created a unified structure. And that to me was symbolic of how we need to come together during this week in honor of Dr. King and in honor of Father Ted to show that we as a community are strongest when we are united. Hey!